Celebrating four years of talk like you've never heard it before, this is Gap, the Great American Broadcast Network. I'm wearing my Norman Lear hat tonight, you know. Yeah, I look a little like Norman Lear. Why not? It's uh, not the. You want? You, you, I'm wearing the sweatshirt tonight. Why couldn't you figure this out? Why couldn't you figure this out? Before we started, because all the controls no, are no, no, in no, your no, pocket. No, no, but why couldn't you t- say this to me before we started? There she is. I, I faded her in. I really didn't want to fade her in. I wanted to do this. Oh look! Oh, isn't that so cute? Hi. Yeah, you got too much light on your face there that way. Because when you get close, the display lights your face, and so it's it it gets anyway. No, because there's an there's an air condition. There's a, a fan up there, and you could have told me, hey, before we went on the air, turn it on. But no, I wasn't you don't in here long that. enough to feel uh-huh. warm. What? I but wasn't in here long enough to feel warm. You weren't in here long enough to feel warm. Now I'm warm. I, I see. You now, can put it on it, less. It doesn't have to be It that. doesn't have to be that put high. Put it in oh, the middle. Oh, okay, it's in the middle now. Thank you. She's almighty. She is such a pain in the ass, I'm telling high. you. I turned it down, but I guess it didn't go down. Put it on low. Oh, jeez. Uh, hey, it's fine by me. It's 10.07, so the more you want to complain... Wait a minute, wait a minute. Right there, I'm, I'm that's fine, that's fine, right that's there. Fine. Just that's leave fine. it, leave it, that's, that's fine. low. That's fine? Yeah, leave that's it, fine. leave it. Okay, jeez almighty, you are just a pain in the ass. Nothing like what happened today. Wait a minute. Our democracy, which is we'll, falling we'll, apart we'll, we'll totally. Get to, we'll get to that in a second. No, 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 it, no, no, no. We'll get to that in a second. You say that I use lousy words with the fucking well, no, president? I, here's what I did, folks. I went on and I and I looked. Wait a minute. Hold on a second. I, I looked at my Twitter feed, and there is... Uh, uh, there, there are your tweets to the president. All going, tell him to go no, fuck himself. Yeah, but the, yeah, they don't, they don't say anything like you know. Maybe you should be a little nicer, or here's a way you could do things better. It's just fuck you, you stupid piece of shit. As though he's gonna read it. I don't care. It makes me feel good. I said, and on your way out, and on the way to jail, Mr. President, uh, we have a tweet here from a Marjorie <laughs> Miller in San Francisco, or rather in uh, New York, saying you're a fucking piece of shit. Do you want to answer that one? You should see what I said to Paul Ryan. I said, you should be ashamed of yourself. Yeah, but they, they, they get this. I don't care. It makes me feel good. It makes him feel. It, it gives me purpose to get up every day and have to listen well, to this shit. Well, you realize when the president says he has something like 43 million Twitter followers, you're one of them. And so are you. Well, I, I do that so that I can keep up with the news. Well, so do I. I don't care. Why do you look bigger than me? I guess because I have your camera. Because you're all to you. turned up like this. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. No, I'm not. Yes, you are. Oh, you're so insulting. Can't you say <laughs> anything? Say something good about me. You have a nice personality. Thank you very much. That's <laughs> very nice. You can't say something nice about me. Come on, say. Would tell tell people something about me that is positive and that you enjoy. You have great legs. I have great legs. I've always I told I you that. I don't have any hair on them. Doesn't anymore, matter. Though. It's a nice shape. I've always told you that. Yeah, but that, that has nothing to do with the quality of me as a person. That's, I think. That's is there something <laughs> you can say nice about me that speaks to the quality of me as a person? Yes. When I came out of the hospital after serious surgery, you made me take a taxi to your house by myself. <laughs> so there. Can, can, he refused to come up to the hospital to get me out of the can, hospital. Can I say something, ladies and gentlemen? <laughs> Take the camera off of her. Uh, uh, let me just say this. Uh, it was. It's true. It was. Hey. We talked about it before you left the hospital. No. Huh? You didn't want to come up. That's what happened. You're, you're I'll all- be there when the taxi comes down to the house. Well, the thing is, they roll you out to the front they of the hospital. They don't let you out unless somebody uh, is coming uh, uh, for uh, you. Let me ask you, were you there when I got out of the same hospital? 
You were fine. You see? You see? <laughs> well, you were fine, too. They wouldn't have let you go unless you were fine. I had stitches. I had surgery. Yeah? Yeah. I had a very painful kidney stone. Which you passed. Huh? Which you passed. Which I passed. Didn't you pass it? Eventually. Well, so there you go. But it took four and a half days of being in the hospital. Oh, my God. We're never going to hear the end of it. He is milking this for all it's worth. No. All I'm saying is that every time you want to say something wrong that I've done, you mention I didn't pick you up at the hospital. Well, that's true. Now, will you tell them what I did for you on uh, while you were in that hospital stay because it was over Thanksgiving? I bought and paid for an entire Thanksgiving dinner. Which you couldn't have because... And she... Alex brought it up from his apartment to the hospital. And that was downtown. And your point by, is... By the way, I was all the way downtown. This wasn't when we were living like a stone's throw from Mount Sinai. And your point is... I was all the way downtown. It was and, easier for you to get in a cab and go downtown and than for me to go uptown. your point is... I had two surgeries. Were we married at the time? No. Okay, then it didn't count. <laughs> You can't you now say something nice about my the way I am as a person. Find something. I know you have to deep dig deep down. <laughs> you make me laugh sometimes. I knew you would come up with that. Well, you, you do. You, you make, make me, me laugh. laugh. Yeah, well, you know you're getting that for free. <laughs> well, you're getting it for free. You're getting a lot for free, and I don't charge it. I don't charge you. Charge me for what? For anything. The sympathy you, you give me for all my pains? <laughs> because it never stops. What? Your chronic complaining. My chronic complaining? What am I, what, what did I complain? Oh, you know what happened today? <laughs> Here we go. Where's the theme song? Come, come to my camera. It's like I'm talking to somebody who's running the board. I'm doing it here on, with the, from the keyboard. My finger, my thumb. Got. Here we go. Where's no, the theme my, my, song? My, I want to hear the this, theme song. And then also on this hand, the other, the, these two fingers, they sometimes get cramped. When and, he discovered that the lump really on hurting. his stomach wasn't cancer, he had to go to another ailment, and now it's his thumb. No, but the and his foot, and his leg. Wait a minute, the lump on my stomach. You're always complaining about some well, I had, lump or I had some a, bump. I had a pimple on my ass. Well, that's true. He did have a pimple. But it's it cool his head. It wasn't just a pimple. It was something <laughs> like, they call it a carbuncle or something. Uh, we had to but lather know, but, it with black but here's, sub. here's the deal. You still haven't come up, you know, you make me laugh. Some quality, something about me that is the reason why you stick around. <laughs> huh? See what I mean? Why are why do you, why are you even living with me? Why are you even married to me? Is there a reason? Well, that's a whole conversation. <laughs> Cuz I love you. But why do you love me? There have got to be attributes that I have. You make me laugh. Oh, there we go back to that one again. Of course I make you laugh. I'm a professional laugh maker. Well, there you go. I do that for a living. And you're my IT guy. I'm your IT guy. Yes, oh, you yeah. are. Yeah. Here, yes, here, here's you the, are. Here's the typical IT thing. Alex, <laughs> the cable isn't working. <laughs> okay, well, uh, 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 I'll be in there in a second. No, I need it now. The cable isn't working. And then I go in and I push the button for on for the cable, and it's on. And that makes me the IT person. Well, there you go. And I'm so proud of you. And I say thank you, and I love you. And I tell her a million times, well, there's one thing with the TV set we have. Occasionally, once to reboot. in a long time. I forget time, to reboot. No, no. Uh, it, every once in a while, the sound just dies on it. Or it and, stutters. And, no. It, yeah, sometimes it stutters. Well, I don't know about the stuttering. But, 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 uh, yeah. uh, 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 but anyway... Uh, you just turn. I told her you just turn it off, turn it back on again. Alex, I lost <laughs> the sound on the TV. Will you come in here and fix it? Sorry, dear. I'm doing brain surgery right now in the other room, and the patient may die. Get in here. <laughs> but I need. I, 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 you just better be glad you're not married to a surgeon. You know. Can you come home and turn on the TV for me? Can you come in the kitchen and turn off the flames? You know, By the way, the flames were on this morning in the kitchen. I should have woken you what up. What do you mean the flame was the, on? On the stove. It couldn't have been on. 
I, be, I make sure I turn them off now. Oh, yeah, you really make sure it's, you turn it off. It's the flame fairy. Yeah. It is. It's the yeah. flame fairy. This the morning, flame fairy comes along. Which meant that the oven, the, 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 the um, top of the oven was on all night. I just don't know why we're married. I have no idea. <laughs> I, I really have no idea. You know? Oh, I've got a, I had a sprained ankle yesterday, but felt like a sprain. Did she care? My thumb tonight. Did was, I not ask you if you want, did I thumb. not ask you last night if you want me to rub your leg? You did ask me. And you said no. It, that's right. So there you because go. Because I felt you were not doing it out of pity. No, it was out of love. <laughs> You're trying to shut me up. <laughs> I did offer. No, but I, it, 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 it's it's you know you know. It's called getting so anyway, older. Uh, but people, uh, as you know, uh, we're now going out on YouTube. And I got to tell you, uh, I, would, I would like to be able to say, well, we're going to go back to Facebook Live now. The picture is so good on this that I can't believe it. I look at all my different monitors. I look at the Gabnet. We're on Gabnet.net. The picture is live, going out live. It goes out... Uh, um, you can go to, uh, if you go to Facebook Live, I have a little link there. You just go there and take you right to the page and the picture is going. And if you, if you click on that page before we're going on, it just sits there and sits there and sits there and you saw it happen. And as soon as we go on here, as soon as I push a button here, it starts. So you don't have to even worry about it. It's the simplest thing in the world. And the picture is extraordinary. Now, I hear I can get 1080p out of this, a higher thing, but I don't have the CPU power. Anybody know what I've just said? Probably not. So anyway, um, so uh, but, but what I need, and maybe you could do a plea here, we need more subscribers to the... <laughs> what was that? Please. <laughs> please, 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 please. No, we need subscribers because if I can get a, a thousand subscribers, you get money. No, what? You it isn't money. that. It isn't that I get money. I Did don't. You see the girl. Wait a minute. <laughs> let me finish. We'll talk about her in a second. If I get a thousand people, it allows me to have a different kind of chat and a few other monetization things I can do with it but if we have a thousand i can use certain things that i can't use now uh so you know um please tell your friends everybody right now you just i think probably on the page you're on it might say subscribe if it doesn't when you're through here just type in alex bennett on uh, youtube and go to that page go to, go to my channel and there will be a button that says subscribe, subscribe. do it and gloria um, do it yeah, everybody, do it, do it, do, do it, it, do it, do it, do it. How many do I have now? As of now, uh, wait a minute, I got to look here. I it is ten eighteen. Huh? I'm just giving the time. I don't give a crap. Okay, <laughs> let me see here. Oh, 464 subscribers so far. Wow. Well, we started out with 404 so a couple of days ago. So did you have to buy them? No. <laughs> it's, yeah. like, it's like you have to buy friends. No, I, I buy people twi buy Twitter. Well, I bought tw I bought Twitter friends. Yeah, I, I admit to it. I, I you know you can do it. I, I do it. All right. Okay. All right. I mean, I'm trying to get rid of stuff here. How do I get rid of this stuff? Damn you, Alex! You're running a show. Huh? This is well, why you're well, not no, getting no. any callers. No, the, no. I, I had a lot of callers last night. It was a good show. It was a good show too. Yeah, you had a lot of callers. But uh, anyway, oh, there we go. Oh, no, that I didn't want to do. See, here's the problem, is that I'm running this show here. Right. But I, I'm also running everything else, so I have to constantly look at stuff and make sure it's well, okay. Well, that's why you're the pro. Is there that's a, why you get the big is, bucks, is sir. There, is there an is there 18-year-old who'd like to work with an old broadcast pro and come in here and just run the show? Then I wouldn't have to worry about any of this. You teach you know. them. But I have to switch the thing. I have to make sure it's on all the various things. What I like about um, YouTube, and I have to thank uh, Forbin Colossus, who who you can probably see. Well, he isn't even online tonight. Well, I did this for him. Fuck you. Uh, I did it for Forbin Colossus because he kept telling me, go to YouTube, go to YouTube, go Is to YouTube. Is that a name? Well, no. There was a movie called uh, Colossus, the Forbin Project years ago, oh. which is about a giant computer takes over the world uh but anyway uh 
uh, he uh, was bugging me, bugging me, just making me miserable with this, you know, go to YouTube, go to YouTube. And I went, eh, I don't know if I like that. And, you know, everybody knows I'm at Facebook Live and there's some good things about that. And then I finally, one t day, I was testing it and I said, this is pretty damn good. And uh, there he is. He says, change the name to Stormy B and watch the ratings go up. <laughs> That's a good idea. Well, let's tell you about, you were watching this uh, Comedians in Cars Getting Coffee, only Jerry wasn't really in a car with a comedian, and no, she he, didn't have coffee or whatever. She was a wannabe. Now, she it, was a wannabe that became... And, and, and her name is something Sing? Sing. Melanie Sing. Melanie Sing. Sing. And uh, so I, she is a, she is, has a... She, she was a teenager when she started. She's not a teenager anymore. But she was the one that started with the makeup and the dancing in the hallway and doing the laundry yeah. and, and all that so stuff. So I decided Constantly to go, on camera. I decided to go look her up and I went to the, her, her page, her Geraldine Singh on YouTube. She has a video of, of an original song she did. And it's been up, admittedly, for three years. But over those three years, she has amassed 26 million Jesus. hits. <laughs> so the money, views. how does that translate to uh, money? I, I know it uh, does. Uh, I, I know it I, does. I read about it yesterday. If I were to get a million views, okay, everybody, start looking. We, Cl clicking we, twice. Right now it says we have 30, so, you know, we're, 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 on, our we're, way. we're on our way to the million. All right, so when if you I get, get a, a million. If you get a million views, you get $2,000. So for every million you've got, you get about two thousand dollars. She had twenty six million on that one video. So how much is that? That's that's uh, twenty six times two. That's uh, about f f sixty million dollars, uh, sixty thousand dollars. She made. Wow. Well, like um, wait, a minute, uh, wait a minute. Well, no, wait a minute. More than that. You make two two thousand. No, it's twenty six times two thousand, whatever that is. That would be well, fifty six. Like Jimmy Kimball and and all of the late shows. What they do is, yeah, they have their late show, but they post it on YouTube. Yeah, and that's where the mon That's where their money comes in. Yeah, if they if they have one that does a lot. No, they that's but if you that's do, their if you chain. Do, if, that's their if, money. If, if you do over a hundred thousand, they're paying less now for it. But if you get over a hundred thousand, they start paying you something. But it supports. It's more money that comes in. So than we just got having thirty people. That means we're very close to we're, our. We're on our way to a million. To our hundred hundred thousand. You know. It's ten twenty-two. I'm just saying. I didn't bring you in here as a time. I'm signal. a clock. Anyway, and this, but this girl. I mean, I was listening to it from the other room because I was getting talk. the show she together. She make she, up her own words. I was listening from the other room, and I said. Who is this annoying person? Really annoying. And she said she was homeschooled until she fired her mother, and then she schooled herself. <laughs> and then every other word she pronounced was wrong. Well, she, she made up words. She combined words. <laughs> like, yeah. And it wasn't a comedian, and it, she didn't have coffee. And she wouldn't even eat. No, and, and he couldn't get rid of, wait to get rid of her. <laughs> Then he takes her Which home. Which made the whole thing very funny. Then he takes her home, she takes off her makeup, and she's like a normal person. And then she acted like a normal yeah. person? Yeah. She's just saying, I'm going to take this as far as it goes. <laughs> well, yeah. That's what people want to see. But you see, here I am every night, ladies and gentlemen, <laughs> you know, just beating my brains out to try and get people to watch this thing. And the problem I have is I don't have a set of breasts and I'm not 14. Okay. And you need big lips. And, and, well, that, that was, you know, she did that to get attention. But, oh, man, I'm telling you. She was you, annoying. I mean, when, if that's what it takes to make it in show business today. That's what it fuck, takes. Fuck that. Yeah, you know? that's where it's at. Yeah. And that was, I was watching on, uh, on one of these shows. They had Jenny McCarthy on, uh, who now has a show at Sirius XM, wearing a Sirius XM T-shirt, and I'm going... You know, she has a show, and I don't, and she sucks. <laughs> you know, she is the most vapid talent but in she's America. she's got big breasts. But uh, uh, Jennifer, Jenny McCarthy, who gives a shit about Jenny McCarthy? You know, but, you know, uh, on the other hand, um, uh, Sirius XM doesn't know because they can't tell how many people are listening at any <laughs> given time to something. So... They assume that, oh, she's a big star and she, she's always out getting publicity for herself and she's plugging Sirius XM. That's all they care about. 
They told me once that they wouldn't give me a raise because I hadn't done anything to get them publicity. And I said, isn't that the job of the PR department? You know, my job is to do a great show that you then make people listen to by publicity, you know? Yeah. But I'm supposed to do, if you want me to do that, then let's give me a raise and I'll do my own PR and I'll get you all the PR you want. But I didn't think that my job was to go out and get you PR, you know? Um, but no, so they when they hire these big names, they get them because they go, oh, well, I'm in the Sirius XM. I've got a show on Sirius XM. And they think that helps. Now, let me tell you something. I, uh, this is sad news. Uh, I, I can't afford to go to Costco this week. That's okay. Or next week. I am so sick of that food. Or there. the week after that. That's fine. I can't afford to go down the street to buy food. Here's the reason why. Um, I have done an amazing job of amassing some money in my Vanguard account. That was until I, and I, you know, if Phil calls, got to, you know, put it right at the doorstep of our president because he takes claim for the economy. In the last week, I have lost, hold on to your seat, $400,000, excuse me, four, you wish, four, you <laughs> wish. I wish, $4,000. I've lost four thousand dollars. That's pocket change. Yeah, but I've lost four thousand dollars. And your point is? Well, point is, I better get it back. Well, our the grand st president. The, the stock market went down this week. It was fi over five hundred today? I think it was like six hundred. It was three hundred and fifty a couple of days ago. It's gone down over. It, it's heading towards having lost a thousand points. But you know week. something? It's heading down the normal. Because it's up too high. Well, I liked it where it was. Because <laughs> I looked every night and I went, wow. Just... Yeah, well, anything that goes that high that fast is going to crash. My Sirius XM stock, though, has gone up. They're up to $6.11. No, it will go down again. No, too. but it, it no, but it went up. And I, uh, you know, so I made up for a little bit of it with Should my I roll Sirius over? XM stock. No. Just, be, just because it's getting close. Doesn't mean you should close. It, it, <laughs> you should get close. No, I'm looking at the clock. I may, I may not go to the phones for an hour. I'm going to start rolling. No, no, don't you start rolling over. Do not come, do not come over here. I do not. I, well, here, I'm, I'm <laughs> blocking her chair with my, uh, yeah. It's hot now. It's hot now? <laughs> Do you want me to turn the fan up higher? No, no, leave it, leave it. I just undid this. Well, I'll turn it up higher no, for me. No, it's too high. No, that's oh, okay. not too high. That's just right. All right. It's just right. You know what you do? You leave the fan on in the bedroom low. when I come in there in morning. Low. No, forget about low. It Low is not good when it's freezing in there to begin with. And then I have to sneak, uh, sneak over to your side of the bed and turn it off. And then I, you go, what's happening? <laughs> And I have to say to her, nothing, go back to sleep. Okay. I go to the bathroom at 2 in the morning the other night. And, you know, it's like you wake up. I want it to be dark. I just want to, like, crawl and do my thing. Yeah. Oh, you're up. What's wrong? What's happening? You know? <laughs> Don't talk well, to me. You're anal compulsive. Anyway. Don't talk to me at 2 in the morning. I want to go back to sleep. You're anal compulsive. I, I, you know, uh, a couple of weeks ago, I uh, got up in the middle of the night to take a pee, which most guys have to do, and I come back and the bed is made. You know, I mean, that's, <laughs> that's what a neat freak she is. I do not. You know what she did, though? I started sleeping in the other room. I'm not doing that now. I haven't been slept in there in quite a while. Um, Three days. No, no, about a week. A week. A week or so. But um, uh, I, I would sleep in the other room, and I'd wake up in the morning, and uh, she used to make the bed, and then she said, ah, to hell with it, and she stopped making the bed. Because you told me you got back in the bed. No, then I, then I was, then when you didn't make it anymore, I just in got bed. back into that bed. Yeah, so I left it for you. Because I can't sleep, sleep with you. You snore. Yeah. Okay, you're gonna, you, you really have to come over look here, don't time. you? Look Look at her. There, there, there she is. There she uh, is. is. Did you see that happen, folks? Oh wow! Yeah. Okay. Well, I'm glad you're 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 happy now. Uh, anyway, uh, I haven't turned anything on yet. Well, uh, uh, turn, yeah, oh God! I get, well, you always yeah, tell me yeah, to talk into the microphone. The microphone's way well, listen, over there. From here on in, yeah. before the show goes on, you tell me everything you need. Like you want a fan on, tell me you want the fan on, but you don't have to do it while we're on the air. 
See how many people? Look at that. That's more than you've ever gotten me. But not as much as we had last night. Last night we did really well. <laughs> oh, boy. Anyway, let me, uh, let me go to this and turn this on. And this is, this is where we wait for people. Hold on a second. Let me, let me get rid of a lot of these. So is it a fill-free night? No, it's not a fill-free night. Uh, but uh, Phil's going to have his operation, though, he mentioned when? last night, the 17th of March. Oh, so it's right around the corner. It, well, it's not right around the corner. No, it's pretty close. And uh, at the end of that month, we, we, we're going to get our new um, health insurance, which I think is going to be a great deal better. Look who the first person is calling oh, tonight. It's an elephant, ladies and gentlemen. And if it's an elephant, you know... It Renee, must be Renee. R Renee can't be far behind. Hello, Renee. Renee? Can you hear us, Renee? What's all that what? noise? She can't hear? Renee, can you hear us? Can you see us? Do you want anything to do with us? I can hear you, but I can't speak because I've got the microphones, everything covered over. Oh, well, I I, I, uncover, uncover, them, uncover them over. Oh, here comes Scott. I add him to the group. Here's Ray. We, we, we can barely Here's hear Ray. you. And here comes Ray Renati. Okay. Add him to the group. Just that tugboat is going to Honolulu. What? We can't see, we see anything. Oh, you can't see anything? Hold on. No, no. Except, is that better? We haven't got your camera on. We just on. see an elephant. We just see the elephant. I'm working on it. <laughs> oh, boy. Is that better? Hey, wait, there we, here we go. There we go. Yeah. Now turn Now turn your, yeah, turn it sideways that way. Okay, there we go. Okay, so we have Hawaiian sunset again. Oh, there's a noise. Boy, another fucking boring Hawaiian, Hawaiian sunset, there's right? There's a noise. There's a wind. Yeah, right. Visible whales. <laughs> But, uh, um, what they are, were what out are, there a few minutes ago, but they were really. Wait a minute, but there's the something boat. out there. It's a tugboat, she said. It, is that it's a, a tugboat? Tug oh, it's, it's a tugboat. Tug okay. It's, is the wind better? Oh, the wind's yeah. much better. We don't hear the wind at all, uh, and and that sun will be going down shortly. <laughs> Look at it. <laughs> uh, let me see. We'll add. Uh, here comes here comes Rob Alfano. Hello, Rob. How are you? Good. Rob with the great microphone. How's it going? Oh. Yeah, it's going good. It's going good. We're it's just, Friday. Well, I mean, it's, it's as good. Friday. It's going as good as it. It's going as good as it possibly can with her annoying the shit out of me. <laughs> you know, I would love to go to bed. Huh? I Whoa. would love to go to bed. Well, who's stopping you? Well, because you always say, did my people talk to your people? Are you coming on the show tonight? Oh, we have this I'm little joke ready. about, uh, did, did your people talk oh, to my, my people? people? You know, Wind is uh, stopping us from being able to hear you. What? The wind is stopping us from being able oh, to hear you. We got, a trouble with, we got trouble with the wind Turn tonight. Turn it off. No, we, we, we. <laughs> Should I mute you? Yeah, yes. I guess you better. Uh, otherwise, the wind is going to make it difficult for other people to hear other people. When you want to say something, then unmute. Okay. Hi, Vernon. Uh, you know, actually, we don't need to see the sunset. We saw that last night, uh, although every sunset is different. But last night's was we gorgeous. We want to see you. Uh, but we want to see you. Inside. You know. Yeah. Yeah. So, <laughs> you know, uh, whatever. So. If you if Without you want if you want to take it inside, then we won't we won't hold that against you. There she goes. She's who's oh that was Ray making noise. Sorry. Oh, hello, Sorry Scott. That. How you doing? Great. How's everything? Uh, fine. And Ray, how's everything with you this evening? Wonderful. And how about you, uh, Vernon Nunn? I got a new microphone. How does it sound? Oh yeah, that's very wow. nice. Uh, and yeah, here comes oh here, guy right here. Boy, here comes Mark, ladies oh, and gentlemen. I got gentlemen. one of those. Mark Thorner is with us. Hello, Mark. Good to see you. Handsome hey, Mark. Hey, everyone. Yeah. Hey. Yeah. This is this is great. We got uh, we got a nice bunch of people here. You know. Yeah. Uh, yeah. And uh, uh, where are we now? Um, so uh, where, uh, where, uh, where 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 to begin today? Oh boy! You know this was a horrible how day. About the memo? I'm just going to say the it was a horrible memo, day. Memo. Yeah. How about the memo? The bullshit men. Well, What's his name? Nunez. 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 Nunez.
He should be in well, jail. Well, Nunes, uh, it, no, I he's very, he's, he, he is a very important part of this administration in as it's the only blowjob that Trump gets. So uh, He's the Blade Runner. Yeah, he's the... They, it, 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 it's, it's horrible. It is. It's terrible. But, what a nightmare. But anyway, uh, uh, hey, Phil isn't <laughs> here yet. He's going to drag our government to the ground. He already and is. And everything just to try to win because that's the kind of... That's right. Schmuck he is. Yeah. And the worst part is the Republicans are totally backing him. When, uh, when they, all should when go they down. have Watergate, it was just Nixon and his crew. It wasn't the Republican Party. Right. right. Here you have the entire Republican Party backing him. Is yeah. John McCain still ta- speaking up against him? He's in chemo. We haven't he heard ch- from him. Well, no, he, he said something. He said something. what it was. He said something today. Uh, yeah, I think McCain, it was against Trump. It should tell you uh, something. It's a memo that he, or whatever, yeah. It should tell you something that the only people speaking out are those who are leaving. That's right. And there's about 30 of them the leaving. They're all speaking out. Yeah. Where were they when? wants to see in the government is, is saying anything. So they're, big, they're all complicit. That's right. Yeah. Yeah. How do you so, feel, Mark, about it? You, I, it's like watching the circus in town, yeah. Alex. Yeah. yeah. You're right. You're absolutely right. The circus at least is entertaining. Well, what did you? What was oh, your? What was your take? It's, it's, you know, we're playing with our government and our country and all of the different uh, institutions that we be- believed in at one time. It's yeah. sad. I feel so sad about all this. I mean, Aren't it's you? it's a nightmare. You feel sad? I do feel. I'm saddened. Yeah. I am. Oh, okay. I agree with you. I am too. Actually, well, it's terrifying. Is yeah, that, that me, too. Uh, camera? What? Who's camera? I mean, I'm looking at a beautiful sunset. Yeah. That is that is oh, the sunset Renee. in Hawaii, courtesy of that's Renee. Renee. Yeah. That's Renee. Yeah. yeah. Okay, I figured. Wow. Isn't that wonderful? That's what's so. <laughs> <laughs> She's that's muted. What, that's what's so great about this whole thing. As I said last night, when I was a kid, there was a show on NBC hosted by Dave Garraway called Wide Wide World, and uh, one week. When they first put in the microwave relay across the United States, they decided it was a good time to do a show in which they were going to have all the um, uh, they were going to have a camera on in the wet east, west east coast and a camera on the west coast, and they were going to show you both coasts at the same time, and we were thrilled by that. But look at what we've got now. We've got a worldwide. You know, win. last night I had Bree in Dubai and her showing us the sunset in Hawaii, and the sun was coming up in Dubai. Was okay, it? Yeah. It was no. yeah. So you know, I mean, it, it's really amazing. Yes, Ray. Hey, Alex, you remember you used to do that AOL Messenger thing years ago, I, and and how it was so hard to even get enough connections for that little thing you were doing. Yeah. Yeah. I mean, I mean it's and now look what we're doing. I mean, this is, I mean, you know, incredible. let's face it, this is, this, is, this is the science fiction world that I dreamed about. Yeah. You know. Mark, you're, you're, you're getting up in years, and so's uh, Phil, and so's uh, Vernon, uh, and uh, the rest of you are going to be creeping up there slowly. Wait a minute, Ray's up there. When you were growing up, and you figured you were going to be the age you are now, you what did you that. expect that we were going to have? I'll, I'll tell you right off the bat. Yeah. A, a thriving space industry. Yeah, absolutely. Flying yeah. I mean, cars. Really, I, I really thought we would have some kind of industry up there by now. Yeah, I thought so too. Well, yeah. we, we, we fucked up because at a certain point, we just stopped going to the moon. Yeah. We just stopped. They cut it out of the You budget. know, we went to all that trouble to get there. And then. Oh, how about those, we, so, we, those shots of Mars? Oh, oh, did you see the shots of Mars, Mars today? Oh my God! Yeah, they, they went to it the is. top of went to the top of a mountain or a hill or something like yeah. that, and they did a panoramic view, and it's just breathtaking. Mountains and ah. Uh. Yeah, yeah, I want to go there for the summer. <laughs> uh, it's probably like winter there, but it's the summer. Uh, hi, Patrick. I forgot to say hi to you. Hmm. Can you use your miles? Can I use my miles? Yeah. Maybe. I'm sure. I, there's a good shot at the it. The must puts it up. But, them. you know, that idea about space, the thing I guess that I'm maddest about is that I thought that in my lifetime I would see us on Mars. 
And had we not stopped the whole program, see, the moon program ended, and all we started doing was being NASA hauling and carting. And we were just taking stuff, you know, shooting stuff up into space and pl going up there and putting uh, uh, satellites in orbit and crap like that. And for like about 30 years, 35 years, more than that, uh, what was it? We went there in 69. We were on the moon by uh, we were on the moon by '69. By I think something like '75, uh, we were through. And yeah. since that time, we have not gone back or gone any further. And um, part of it was all these people running around going, "Well, we got enough problems here on Earth; we have to solve." It's amazing though, how many discoveries that we use in every day yeah. happen because of the space age. Yeah. Like Tang, you remember? Tang, you remember, Alex? <laughs> What's yeah. the stuff that sticks? Yeah, uh, 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 Vernon, what? If you remember, Alex, oh, back yeah. in 75, we had that, that big uh, oil crisis and, uh, you know, recession, and, and a lot of government spending was cut back. And that was one of the tragedies of it was, you know, the space industry got, got whacked. Yeah, yeah. But th the fact is that, that we really shouldn't have stopped there. And when I was, uh, when we stopped going to the moon, or shortly before we stopped going to the moon, I wrote a little short story. I don't know where it is. I probably lost it. But I wrote a short story about uh, people, you know, a bunch of people going to the moon, uh, a bunch of astronauts going to the moon and landing. And when they get there, they find the remnants of something that was left there before. And that it turns out that that was, you know, from our current space program, and this was like many, many hundreds of years later, and we never went back, you know. And I often felt that w with the speed we were getting into the space situation, that we were, you know, by the time I was this age, we'd be, we'd already be colonizing Mars. Mm -hmm. And we are not even close, you know. We're not even close, so. Time out, I have to break in, I'm sorry to interrupt. If I'm circling in that vicinity, that means that's where the whale is. Yeah, but you see, we, it's hard for us to see it because to begin with, you using, no, but, you know, yeah. iPad cameras aren't that great. Uh, true, very true. But it, it just keep looking in that vicinity. Yeah, you might have yeah. a better chance with a newer iPhone, you know, but they still put the lousy cameras in the iPads. You think the iPhone would be better if it's? Yeah. Well, it's don't don't yeah. don't do that. We got enough problems already with the iPad, you know, so. Uh, uh, you you know uh, if you, I'll talk to you later, but there's a way to take your camera, use the HDMI uh, output. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Let's not even get into that. Okay, and then <laughs> yeah, let's, let's not even get into it. Uh, 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 yeah. Let's go back to our yes, space. Yes, I can program. use my I can use my uh, what do you call it? My little camera. My can I? Uh, she's got she's got a full frame Canon. Yeah. And uh, which would easily okay. All right, now forget it. Now let's not get into that. I'm gonna oh, say okay. good night no, before you I reach you Mars. Sky? Can I start sure. this again? Yeah. Okay. yeah, yeah. Anyway, she's going to bed. Do I have to kiss you? You better. Better. She loves you. <laughs> <laughs> night, guys. Well, you didn't get me as many people as I had last well, night. What can I tell okay, you? so you. What good are you? Well, with, with her, you've got ten. Your hat. Well, I've got ten. What? With oh, oh, with her, Counting. we had 10 people, yeah, but <laughs> but now we're down to nine people. But we're, we, you know, we're getting a lot of people watching the video, though. That's what I'm so happy about. Anyway, he, here's the thing. So that was my big thing, uh, that we'd be to the moon, we'd be to Mars by now. Uh, uh, we never got, as I've often said, we never got the household robot, unless you consider a Roomba a household robot. Of course it is. Uh, kind of. What else is it? What else is it? It's not like the robot on the Jetsons. Yeah, the robot on the Jetsons, you know, brought you drinks, you know. We're getting very close. Did you see that robot the other day they had on TV that jumped and yeah, could, no, no, uh, but You see, they make yeah. these robots all the time. But the fact of the matter is they never come to any practical purpose. They will. It's just so Sony can say, "Look, we've got what was the name of that dog they had? Remember the remember the robot dog you could buy? They, they yeah. brought it back again, Alex. Did they? Bring, I, those, I saw they brought it back again. I think in Japan they have sex robots. Yeah, sex robots, exactly. In the, Japan, we have them yeah, over here. Yeah. They're called wives. 
<laughs> Thank you very much. You can use that against me uh, in the Me Too movement if you want to. Wait a minute. Renee just, did you just hang up, Renee? I think she's getting her iPhone. Oh, you think she, is, oh, I, maybe I said her. I, uh, but, uh, no, no, she said she was getting her iPhone. Oh. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. She's determined to get us to see those whales, you know. <laughs> Uh, uh, the best way for car and drive oh, down there. Here, here we go. The best way for us to see the whales Do is I... to go to England and stand outside Buckingham Palace. Thank you. Well, I'll be here all week. Uh, Renee, are you, you're not there, are you, Renee? Anywhere? No. She called and then it. We lost her. So I don't know. Anyway, we'll we'll, we'll wait. Uh, anyway, so uh, uh, the household robot. You know, really, we uh, we don't have that yet. Uh, and I don't think we ever will. Flying cars. Yeah. No. Yeah, I was all in favor of that. Yeah. So you know I, something? I think that I always felt that was never a possibility. Did Be you see the Volkswagen wheelless car? It uh, it's it. Um, uh, two people can get into it. It looks like a, a donut, and uh, it. It uh, goes up on air mm -hmm. and uh, and flies. Yeah. Okay. That's great, and I'm so like happy. Hydro, I'm hydro I'm so hydro. happy that they're doing that. Okay. Uh, but uh, but that's all for publicity for whoever is making it. Nobody is ever going to have a hovercraft Volkswagen. Not at least in our lifetime. All right. Well, pretty good. <laughs> you know. Uh, uh, the, the, the fact of the matter is, is that uh, that's, that's not practical either. But the flying cars, I don't think, ever were particularly a practical idea. Uh, well, can, I just wish there were more clown cars that you would see. On I the like, street. you mean clown cars, but well, where, where, you, where you stop the car and 20 people get out of it? Is yeah, that what yeah. you're talking about? I'd like about? to see that more often. <laughs> Do you remember in L.A. there was a wiener car? It was this uh, well, Oscar Meyer wiener car mobile? Yeah. yeah, yeah, no, they they had that when I was a kid. It was in my yeah, neighborhood around decades. Yeah, yeah, I used to see it driving around in the seventies. I, you know, yeah. It's still around. What? It's still around. Yeah, the yeah. the wiener mobile. Yeah, yeah. I've, I've seen it here in Milwaukee a few times. Oh, okay. <laughs> I thought it was the Bratwurst mobile there. <laughs> it got lost. I've got to make some sex. Now I've got to make some sexist male joke about that in order to uh, alleviate the pain from the joke I made about we call them wives. Uh, here, here, here comes Renee. Let's see. Renee, are you on your phone this time? And here comes Jason. Oh, boy. Hey, you got 10. We got 10. We got this is what we call a full house, folks, if you just joined us. Wait a minute. Add to group. Are, are you there, Renee? Renee. Hello, Renee. No, well, you have oh, not. Well. Here's Jason. <laughs> Hi, Jason. Hey, uh, how's it going? Welcome to the wonderful world of YouTube. Yay. She's ha <laughs> you know something? She's having trouble getting in using her phone is what the problem is. She's uh, trying to show the sunset. Huh? Yeah. Yeah, yeah. You know. Um, yeah, I don't have a... Um, an answer to Screw this the sunset. I want to see the full moon. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh, anyway, so I guess, I guess, and then we lost Mark. What, what is happening here? And Scott. Huh? Scott, too. We lost Scott. Here comes Mark back again. See what oh, happens. Scott's, Scott's in witness protection anyway. Scott is, <laughs> who knows what happened to Scott? Renee, are you there at all? You see, we can't tell that uh, Renee is there. Hello. Oh well, see, we can't tell if Renee's there or not. She, her, her elephant is there, but uh, that's the elephant in the room. <laughs> anyway, uh, ba back to the things that uh, Mark. What did you tell us? What you wished that there was today? I did like I said, a working space program. A working space, space program. Space. Uh, how about you, Phil? Was there anything when you were younger you said, boy, if I get to be whatever age you are now, we'll probably have blah, blah, blah. I can hardly. You know, uh, what I was promised was more free time, more leisure time uh, because of computers and, and so forth. And that's not what happened. What happened was expectations 
became uh, greater so that people, instead of having more leisure time, you were expected to respond to tweets faster than uh, you could to snail mail or uh, any no, of those No, I'll, I'll tell you what happened. I'll tell you what happened. And I, I remember this explicitly with my business manager. Uh, when I first met him, he was doing his accounting with spreadsheets. You know, mm -hmm. his eyes were going bad from doing the spreadsheets, right? And then he had a calculator, and he would add up the line and row. So I get, we get, we both get computers, and then somebody gives me like a, uh, you know, a, a copy of a program called Visical. Oh yeah, Visical. And I You're said, I said to them, "What's this?" Visical. And they say, "Oh, it's a, it's a spreadsheet program." So I played with it a little bit, and I, I think I got kind of an idea of how it worked. You know, and I called him over. I said, you got to see something. And he comes over and I show him VisiCalc. And he goes batshit. Yep. You know, because no longer did he have to cross his eyes and put numbers in and add them up on an adding machine. He just put the numbers in, blah, 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 and at the bottom it would add them up. And this was wonderful. So now... So what, you're still what, using it? No, but so what, what, what would you think... <laughs> He's got an Apple. Oh, well, he's, he's using whatever it is now that you use. Exactly. It, no, no, it, no. It, 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 you know, I, I don't know what the leading uh, spreadsheet program is now. It's probably Excel, I would say, yeah. probably. Yeah, it's probably Excel. Yeah. yeah. Anyway, uh, so you would think, you see, because using your logic about, you know, that you'd have more spare time because you'd have computers, that he would have more spare time because he could do all the work for his clients in maybe a tenth of the time he it used to take him with spreadsheets. All right? No. What does he do? He takes on ten times as many clients. So he's working even harder. I mean, you know, he's, you know. Salaries haven't gone up. Uh, from you know, from really the seventies, pe uh, most people are making what they were making in the seventies uh, today. Yeah, most people, and no. and so uh, even though you could take on ten more clients, yeah, uh, you ended up doing it for one tenth the price. Right, <laughs> Jason. Yeah. Uh, uh, that's almost the same point that Phil was making. When you include inflation, uh, incomes have remained flat since the seventies. But yeah. the productivity across America, America has like tripled or quadrupled, but our salaries haven't reflected that. Right. Yeah. yeah. Thanks, Republicans. <laughs> Thank you very much. There's plenty of Democrats involved in that little horseplay. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So, I mean, it, it, it's kind of weird uh, that, you know, so that's what happened. And so I, so the promise of that, that leisure time, and then what computers also did is it started. They actually it, it, said that. It started. You know, it started. It started, it started but it started putting people out of work. That's the other thing that it did. You know, uh, so there weren't as, as as many grunt level jobs as there as there used to be. And what is the, what was it called that we're supposed to be in the Gilded Age or whatever now? But like what they had on the Jetsons, uh, you really should go to work for like oh. ten hours a day or ten hours a week, and that's your whole entire work schedule because all robots and everything. Fine, Jason. That's all the work, what? That's all the work you can find is ten hours a week. Everybody's part part time, so they don't have to pay benefits. But yes. but that's what it's supposed to be. You go to work for ten hours a day, or not a day, a week. And then you make you still make a good living wage, but you, they don't do that now because all the money's going to the top one percent. Well, I know when I was at Sirius, there was a whole group of people that were all part timers, even though they were doing full time jobs. Essentially, I mean, they would be like board ops, but they only do thirty hours, and then they'd go home, and then they wouldn't sure. have to do the medical, and they wouldn't have to do a lot of other things, you know, and. Uh, uh, that's how Americans are getting screwed now. They have to take what is essentially considered part-time work. Am I right, Rob? Uh, uh, you know. Uh, um, I, my wife's trying to find a full-time job, and it's uh, everything is part-time. Everything right. is part-time. Yeah. 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 And when you were well, when you were at Sirius, were you considered a full-timer, or were you considered part-time? I was a contractor. You were a contractor. I, I, Contract. Yeah. So they don't have to pay. They don't give you medical benefits as a contractor. That's right. Yeah. See, they, I, I was yeah, a contractor when I first. Stock and all that. Huh? But they took care of us. They gave us stock and everything. Yeah. Yeah. But they just, uh, you know, no. 
no benefit. No, I had a full. Did you ever job. make? Did you ever make money? Off, did you ever make money off the stock? Because the stock they were giving I, early on was like vested. It wasn't fully vested stock. It was it was stock that when you had to buy it within a certain amount of time, and you had to pay whatever it was worth at the time. So the first uh, bunch they gave me. Uh, vested at uh, I think six dollars a share, and the stock had already gone down to three. So I didn't get anything. You know, I got stock I, I, options. Okay. The stock yeah. went up again, Alex. You know that. Y yeah, but 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 you only you have to buy it within a certain amount of time. Uh, yeah, and a certain amount of time is long past on those. I have oh. other uh, fully vested stock they gave me. Uh, as a bonus at the end of every year, uh, which, um, I don't know, it's not a lot of money, but it's about 20,000 bucks right now, you know? Yeah. And every I mean, year I get a check for about 500 or 600 because I, you have to sell off a certain amount. Um, but, uh, you know, that, that was nice while they were doing it, you know? And so uh, that stock will always vest. You know, it's in, an, it's in a 401k, so... Uh, so I put, Except for it, today, a lot of stocks took a crack. I, oh, yeah. Listen, yeah. Well, I said, I said this week, uh, this week, thanks to Donald Trump, because after all, he takes credit for the economy, doesn't he? Sure uh, does. Because of Donald Trump, this week I lost four thousand dollars. Okay, you got to see the memo. I, I got to <laughs> see the memo. Yeah, that's right. sad. Uh, it's just sad. Well, let's let's talk about the fucking memo. Um, yeah. I, my eyes started to glaze over when I when I started reading it. Uh, what did the memo say? Because I, I got so tired of reading it. After the first page, I said, "Nah, I'm done." Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. I'd rather uh, nap. Uh, I don't think it's it's the smoking gun that every that the Republicans hoped it would be, and it is simply the opinion of a bunch of people trying to convince another bunch of people that the president is getting screwed. You know, but it, 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 they say basically there's no smoke there. Yeah, golden hour. But well, who's he getting screwed by? Huh? Stormy, what's her name? Stormy Daniels. Daniels. No, he's not, not even getting screwed by her. You know. That was years ago. Well, we don't know if she fucked him. Yeah. Did, what do you mean, yeah? She won't Scott, say. did you see she something say. where she. been a job. She, she, she said the tell. Pool, she signed hey. that. Thing that she she had sex with him. I mean, matter of fact, they went to get into a three way with another porn star actress. Really? Yeah. Hey, the Donald's got his uh, Trump on, you know? Yeah. <laughs> oh, look at that! Isn't that gorgeous? Uh, let's all just relax a moment from Trump. Just yeah, breathe a big, big sigh and look at that sunset going down in Hawaii. Look at Vernon. Vernon looks like a young boy. Looking at his first porn star. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's a whale. <laughs> uh, yeah. um, so anyway, um, um, I don't think this thing amounted to anything today, you know. But, you know, the, all the news channels are just talking about it endlessly. And t I wish CNN would stop with all the they're going to fire um, Rosenstein with this. This is a way to discredit the, you know, the FBI. It's, it's a lot of crap because if, if he does that, yeah, he's got way bigger problems. I, I just think that CNN is ginning the, you know, try. It's a good story to to say, and that's, you know, I, I turned it off today because I was like, really, let's just, you know, they released this memo. Yeah, the Democrats are going to release their version of this memo as well. And it's it's sad that 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 Nunez did this, but it's not he's not going to fire Rosenstein over this. It's just it would be suicide. And I, you know, in a way, I kind of hope he does. Oh, I hope he does. <laughs> Absolutely. Uh, by the way, that looks like a picture postcard down there, Renee. And I almost believe it is that you're not really using your iPad, your iPhone. Uh, yes, uh, Patrick. Yeah, I didn't read any of it. All I did is I flipped between two channels because I was curious as to the take on it. Mm -hmm. I went to MSNBC and much like what Rob said CNN was doing, mm -hmm. they were getting shit out of it that this is going to be the downfall of the empire. And then I flipped to Sean Hannity oh. and 
I shut him off as quickly as I did MSNBC because it was Fox News Alert, and it was something like a uh, um, groundbreaking memo release or some bullshit headline, yeah. and I shut him off because I didn't give a shit one way or the other because, again, where I get the most of my news, conservative, mm -hmm. whatever you want to call it, is local, and... The people that I was listening to local, they were already warning yesterday. Yeah. Don't get your shit all in a in a bundle because it's probably going to be a big nothing. And that's exactly what it, it is. It's it, a big it, nothing. It's a big nothing. Yeah. 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 So there was the conservative telling conservative, at least here in the Milwaukee area, don't be looking for, you know, something that's going to be a smoking gun to say, hey, Obama, you know, wired up uh, Trump uh, hotel to take him down. You know, so... It, Would it you was, compare it to the Rachel Maddow we got Trump's taxes story? How disappointing that was, or... I... I, I didn't hear her yapping about that. that, that, she, had that good, was, she had a good a segment ago. tonight. It was more like Geraldo's safe. Yeah, but, <laughs> but that's what I was saying. When, when she had Trump's taxes, it was horrible. It was nothing. Uh, sheet. That's right. Yes. Forgot about that. By the way, let me just mention, for the first time, we have more people watching us than are listening to us. So, oh. it, it, because the, wow. the, the listenership has gone down a great deal on the uh, live stream that we put out, the audio stream, because I guess people are going over to watch it now. It's that easy. So That's good. Yeah. Oh. You're, now, yeah. here, here is, well, of course, if Trump tries to get rid of, well, you see, the idea is he want, maybe gets rid of, what's his name, the Rosen, whatever. The, Rosenstein. The, Rosenstein. Rosenstein that the he Jewish get, guy he, always gets the ax. He fires <laughs> him. Then that makes it uh, clean for the uh, Justice Department to then go in and get rid of, uh, of uh, Mueller. Uh, and I, uh, you know, that's what they think is the, is the, is the game being played here. Not that, uh, they just want to fire, uh, Rosenfeld, Steen, Stein. For that to whatever. happen, they would have to change the minds of a lot of Americans, right? They would have, and then that's what Fox is trying to do by ginning it up the way they're ginning it up. You know, it's funny. Do you, do you I go over, because they're so close to me on my set because we have, you know, we have. MSNBC and about two channels down we got Fox. Okay, so you can go back and forth between them. And it is amazing to hear the, I, I'm watching MSNBC and then I go over to Fox and it's like I'm on another planet. Right. You know, I'm in another, um, what? Can you do picture in picture where you got them both up on the screen? I, no, I, I, I don't have to do that. But you know, if I did, it would it, it there'd be nothing similar. It's like they're on two different planets. You go over to Fox, and they're talking about the world in a way that it doesn't exist over at MSNBC, and then over and at CNN, they me, got a whole nother agenda going for that them. Be more than anything, because I worked in that industry, and I think the industry is just. It's horrible. That should not be that way. It never used to be that way. Yeah. And it's sad that, so we're, you know, everybody lives in a bubble and why people fight. Because we're all living in realities that we choose to live in. Yep. Yep. And and the thing is that people will then seek out the the opinion they want. In other words, they will watch, uh, the people at, at Fo who watch Fox, watch Fox for Fox to reinforce their misguided opinions. All right. And and, and and I will say the same thing about MSNBC that the right left wingers watch uh, MSNBC again to have their mistaken impressions of the world uh, verified. Yeah. So you know, I, I I just where is the news outfit that just gives me the fucking news? BBC. You can't do that in 24 hours. Well, BBC, yes, on some things. If it's stuff having to do with England, no, it's a different deal altogether. But with the United States, they're more objective only because they're, they're, they're observers, okay? Yeah. Whereas the people at these networks are not only, uh, they're observing a climate they live in, okay? I think they're influencers. Huh? They're, they're influencers. Absolutely they are. Yeah, but yeah. they're also they're also in an entertainment division now. It didn't used to be that way. News organizations used to be independent, and then they 
folded it all under the same vice president in charge of entertainment in most of these networks. Uh, okay. All right. Sad. Yeah. I find the Canadian Canadian news to be really good. Because it's probably focus, because yeah. the, the CBC is government owned. Yeah. And so they probably keep a tight rein on it where you've got free, you know, Fox and, and, and Murdoch and on one side and you got another big company on the other side and or, you know, between NBC and also with uh, Time Warner and CNN. They could do whatever they want. The and BBC, nobody, right. The BBC is government owned. By the way, just a moment. I hate the, you know, the, the sunset is just so beautiful. Let me blow it up here on the screen here, just so we can see it. So all of you watching out there can see it full screen. Look at that. Is that not beautiful, folks? Is that not gorgeous? Isn't it wonderful? Isn't it beautiful? Anyway, I just wanted people to have a better view well, of it for a when second. Like that in April, we're going to we're going to go to Vegas and then L.A. and we're renting a house in Venice Beach for a couple of days. Nice. Oh, okay. Ooh. Fine. Uh, and uh, you should come to New York and stay with us. You know, <laughs> that would be wonderful too. Anyway. <laughs> Um, but where are we here? So, you know, I mean, it, it's just a, it, 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 it's the way the world is that, that we, we have, we don't have reliable news. When you talk about governments running outfits, the BBC is run by, is, is a government owned, uh, organization, uh, but allowed to run independently. And many times politically, they've been in opposition to the, poli the prevailing pol politicians of the time. Um, uh, you know, so, uh, but we, we, because all these outfits here are owned by money-making organizations, you know, news was much better in America when the networks considered the newscast a loss leader. You know, we, they did it so they could point with, it's, huh? It's only 30 minutes. They had to invent like 22 hours a day. If you can really think about it, how much news is there to tell in a 24 hour period so you have to invent uh, you have to invent these these programs and what do they do they they have a storyline right. and they choose the storyline right that's what's going on and, and since then that's why we've got what we've got uh, yes um, um jason so like over here maybe the same thing patrick too he talks about his local news but you know i listen to the am radio especially because i'm out on the road a lot and, you know talk about weather and traffic on the eights but you know, they just basically read the news, you know, and it's the same thing every hour. You know, they just repeat the same stuff, basically. But, you know, it, that doesn't seem really too opinionative to me. It's just more of scenes reading the headlines of what's going on. Yeah. And that's what I like a lot, too. But but the, but the fact of the matter is that once the networks decided, hey, we can make money off of this. Then it became a whole different ball game. Then it became a ball game of ginning up the news, trying to get eyeballs, uh, trying to make sure they didn't go anywhere. Uh, yes, Patrick. Well, Jeff, for Jason, no, it, it most of it's conservative radio that I listen to, and it isn't. It it's all local talent, so it it isn't just you know traffic or, and weather. Um, but the thing is the the host, like right now, there's some shit going on in the yeah. state dealing with the governor. Keep your that own. In opposition to um, to what the conservative host wants. Yeah. So there, there's a lot of open-mindedness, I guess. They're willing to go against the grain versus Fox going against Trump now or yeah. MSNBC going against Obama. So... Um, so it's a little different than just weather and traffic. Uh, are you trying to do puppets in front of your? <laughs> <laughs> I was trying to unmute it because most of the cars are gone now, and you can hear the birds in the sunset. <laughs> oh, okay, all right, okay. Uh, just try to get the uh, try and get the sun a little more towards the center of your screen. That's it. There we go. Yeah, that better. Go. That's very nice. Bill? Yeah. 
I want <laughs> Phil's opinion. Is that wrong, right, Phil? Uh, yeah. Yeah, because uh, you got enough sky and you're not right. And some middle. landscape. You don't want the sun in the middle. You want it. No, down, no wonder people aren't listening to this on the audio version because it, it, we're, it's, we're getting so visual with this show. It's ridiculous. Yeah, well, yeah. we were just talking about uh, uh, what is it called in photography? Uh, composition. Composition. Yes. Oh, you, you, you're big. You're a very professional you photographer. Uh, you're very professional face. photographer, Phil. Uh, what's that thing we call it in the in photography? Oh, yeah, composition. Yeah, uh, yeah well, right. And she's got the leading line of the fence. She's got uh, the sun in the bottom third. We got some palm like trees down there. I think those are palms, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, leading lines is a good uh, yeah. composition. Can you see the palms better now? Yeah, we can yeah. see Wait, the palms. Yeah, no, we see them. We were very, they were very nice when they were offset to the side. Okay. Yeah. Right. Okay. That way. Yeah. Now. Hey, so Renee, can you hear yes, me? Uh -huh. So the other day, sorry, this is a wayside track thing. <laughs> you were talking about driving with your headlights and fog lights on at the same time. Okay, Please don't do that. Please don't do that. Point. Why? It's so freaking bright to oncoming traffic. You have two sets of headlights basically coming on to head oncoming traffic, and it, it blinds me all the time. You know, what I, if I just run with my fog lights on and not my headlights? You, you should do that. No, it's not illegal. You have to have two front headlights on, and fog lights count as that. Yeah. When it's foggy, that is what you are supposed to do is drive with your fog lights on, not your headlights. And wow. when it's regular, you're yeah. supposed to drive with your headlights on, not your fog lights. Well, because yeah. because, because the fog lights the, the fog lights are of a certain are lower. Uh, they're lower, so that you don't have the fog blanking out what you see in front of you. If you have your high beams on, for instance, you won't be able to see beyond a certain amount but of fog. And now in today's age, fog lights are just as bright as headlights. So when you're driving at somebody with your fog lights on and your headlights on, it's just it's blinding. I hate thank, it. Thank you, Jason. I won't do that. Thank you. Yeah. In uh, England, it's illegal to do it. They're the oh. only people who are freaking wised up, you know, to say, you know, stop doing that. But And they know fog. <laughs> no, that's the coal uh, smuts, uh, uh, schmutz creates that. Uh, yeah. Well, why you guys can't see anything off to the left is because of the volcano. And so we're having southern winds that are blowing up Vog, Vog, volcano, obstructive, whatever it is, instead of fog. Can you smell it? I can't. Is it sulfur-like? No, not at all. It, it's But it, it'll end up in the house as little, uh, little brownish, or excuse me, a little reddish stuff. So you have to dust a whole lot more. Oh, you know, I figured out why you have so many mice uh, in Hawaii. You don't have any snakes. Very true. Hey, Phil, aren't you moving to Hawaii pretty soon? I don't know. If I don't sell the business soon, uh, I can't afford to move across the street. Uh, that was a joke. Yeah. And you're in a rental, so you're going to have to deal with that. Yeah. You know, I, the whole reason I sold the house was, uh, but I, I, I thought that the business would sell uh, around the same time the house sold, and in between the two of them, I could have... Done well, it, my suggestion my is once my my suggestion is once you lose that prostate, why don't you just move to Rome and become a priest? Uh, <laughs> a eunuch. Well, <laughs> yeah. no, actually, you don't lose. Uh, eventually, you <laughs> regain the ability to, uh, to have an erection, but you're just not able to uh, have any semen uh, ejaculation. Ejac hey, well, that's what I, the. I am. What? I'm very curious. Please. You know, let us know. You know, do your do your duty, do your thing. You know, to see if you, you know, I know you won't ejaculate, but you still have an orgasm. I'm uh, very curious on that. Can. Yeah, they say you can. They say, but well, you know, it'd be I, nice I, to know I, from somebody. Well, wait who a minute. Now hold on a second. Done. The prostate doesn't give doesn't create ejaculate. It creates the uh, the pre the lubrication, the pre cum. Right? Am I right about that? Huh? It out. No, no, but I don't. I don't think yeah. the prostate creates uh, uh, 
um, sperm. sperm. It is it it's a, it's a, well, it's a vast deverence that does. Sperm isn't all the liquid. It's just the, the cells that are inside the liquid. That liquid is created by the prostate. Well, no, it's, yeah, it, it's, it's semen. It, 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 well, the prostate creates the semen. That is what I you ejaculate. A, I had a vasectomy, yeah. and I had that semen cut off a long time ago. No, it's not sure. the semen. No, you had sperm. the sperm cut off. You had the yeah. sperm cut off. Yeah. Well, you know what? You, 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 you do remember the. Uh, I had a vasectomy the, also. Yeah. I still yeah. ejaculate semen. Do you re do you remember the dancing? definition of dancing? Don't you? Uh, naval engagement without any loss of semen. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> That's is, one of those navy jokes. Is that a navy joke? That's what I was just. No, it's not a navy <laughs> joke. I that was I learned that that was one of the first dirty jokes I ever learned. Mm. By the way, I, 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 you know, I do remember the first joke I ever learned. Yeah. To this day, I remember the joke. Isn't the chicken going across the street? My father taught it to me because he thought that this would be great if I told this at parties. And everybody would say, boy, that's funny coming out of a kid. Okay? Uh, and so he told me this joke. And uh, uh, I never understood the joke. Till I got older, and the joke was uh, there was this fairy, there was this princess, and one day she's walking through the garden, and she happens upon a frog, and the frog says to her, "If you take me home tonight, put me under your pillow. Tomorrow morning, when you wake up, I will be a handsome prince." So, she says, "What the hell?" She takes the frog home, puts him under her pillow. When she wakes up the next morning. Lo and behold, there is a handsome young prince. And do you know to this day her father doesn't believe the story? <laughs> <laughs> that was the first joke I ever learned. My father taught it to me, and I never understood what the joke was, but people laughed when I told it. They said, my son has a joke here to tell you. Go ahead, tell it to him. This is my idea, my father's idea of a good time, you know. Make the kid a. That's when I learned how to be a performer, you know. So, that's the first joke I ever learned. Did anybody here remember the first joke they ever learned? No. No. Okay. Yeah, I, I do. Know, Wait a minute, you do. Good, Wait a minute, Ray Renati. Yeah, did. my my grandmother. Uh, it's really stupid. Um, why was the barn so noisy? Because the cows have horns. Ah. Okay. Yeah, my yeah. grandmother taught me that. That's a kid joke. That's a kid joke. Yeah. 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 And probably yeah. when you first started telling it, you didn't have great timing and you messed up on the joke or you, yes. you know, uh, yeah, because it has horns. No, that's not what I'm saying. Because they, yeah. Well, the fun thing was to get her to tell it over and over again as if she'd never told it before. Oh, that, I, was, that was the I fun see. thing. Yes, uh, For Jason. For years. Yes, Jason. <laughs> So here's one you might appreciate. I don't think I've told before on here. Yeah, because you were in the Navy. Okay. Uh, two guys are going to the bathroom. One guy's in the Marines. One guy's in the Navy. And they both go to the bathroom. And the uh, guy from the Navy sitting there washing his hands. And the guy from the Marines is just walking out. The guy from the Navy goes, you know, in the Navy, they teach us to wash our hands after we go to the bathroom. The guy from the Marines says, in the Marines, they teach us not to piss on our hands. <laughs> ba, 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 da, ba, pow. Yeah. Ouch. <laughs> That's a good one. That's a oh, good snap. One. Yeah, hey, can I ask a question quick? Sure, go right I, ahead. Buddy. I accidentally um pushed the button so that I could only see one person at a time. Do I have to just hang double up? click just double click somewhere on that uh picture and it'll come back. Okay. No, that's not working. And on the bar. Uh, on the bar in the picture. Yeah, on the bar okay. on the Okay. So kind of Did it come back? It. Oh, I see. Yeah, I'm net square. No, it's not working. Uh, it could really? be. Uh, what, which version are you using? Uh, do you have the oh, circles I don't know. on top or no? Do I have what? Are people in circles on the top? No, I just no? see like the only. Per I only see the person who's talking, and then everyone else uh, is gone. Okay. I just have a little square. Um, so what They're you do is up square. above, up on the very top. Hold on yeah. a second. Let me see here. There is there is a. Um, uh, there is a there are three dots. If you put your cursor up there, three dots. You see that? Oh, I must have an old version. I don't have any dots. Oh, yeah. you have to have the cursor go up there. Do you have a picture of yourself? Uh, no, I only like I only see who's talking at that moment, and there's no picture of myself. It's just a small uh, square. Try hitting the escape button. 
Okay. Oh, wait. Did it just go on to one? So it's just a small picture of one person talking? Yeah. Mm -hmm. Double click yeah. on that picture. Did you already? Cause I already have a bunch uh, of signs. There, there's a dark line uh, where <laughs> the, the, uh, in that picture. Set your cur cursor on that and just click on it. Yeah, I did. It doesn't do anything. Well, oh well. well, if you have the if you have the latest version, it, 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 you know you don't have it because you don't see the little bubbles of people. Then you don't have that stupid new version. Um, okay. uh, I could just hang up and call back. If if, yeah. if that, that might not fix it, that might not fix it. Oh, uh, you see, what yeah. I find it is is that at the very top, if you yeah. if you put your cursor on the screen. Okay. And move your cur your mouse around. Uh, do you see any stuff at the top of the screen? It, it just says uh, it just says Skype on the left, and then there's an X to close the window, and then and then if I, and then it says Gabnet Live, and it shows how long we've been on, and there's a mic and a phone. Uh, what about on the little well, the picture you see itself? Is there a bar on top of that picture? Uh, yeah, it just says the time. It says, like right now, it says. Well, what are you using? Are you are you using a Mac or are you thing. using a PC? PC. You are using a PC. Well, you should have yeah. that, those three dots, and those three dots say if you hover over them, screen options for this call, and it will tell uh, you how you know what configuration you want. So it no, almost sounds like he minimized the window that he's in. Yeah, and, I was just thinking about that too. I don't know what I did. Uh, yeah, it. Uh, there's no dots. There's nothing. Mm. <laughs> Sorry. Uh, I'm hang up. Call See back. You. Yeah. Worse that's going to happen. It's going to be the same as it is now. Yeah. yeah. I just try Better that. Call Skype support. See how far that gets. <laughs> oh yeah. yeah. <laughs> right. Now here, here, yeah. You call Skype now, that's support. That's what he did. He he's minimized his picture because I just did that on mine and that, I got the same thing he did. But if you double back. click, if you double click on it, it goes back to normal. No, right. mine isn't. So maybe there's just something wrong with the way the program's running. Because I double click and nothing happens. Wow. Yeah. Son of a bitch. Well, I, I yeah. don't know. But rather than talk about it all night, why don't you just hang up and call yeah, us back up. and see if yeah. it works? Okay. In fact, hey, yeah. Alex. Yeah. If you were to take off your uh, flannel that you're wearing right now, yeah. you'd be Freddy Krueger. Uh oh. <laughs> oh, you mean with oh with this? This is my. Yeah. This is a Freddy Krueger shirt, isn't it? It is totally. <laughs> <laughs> oh boy! Uh, hey, I, Alex. I did one other thing uh, with my setup here. I've yeah. got, I've got uh, LG Bluetooth headphones, and I, I bought on e on uh, Amazon uh -huh. a receiver transmitter that I can plug into the computer. So now I can get up and walk around without having a cord tethered. Wow. Well, that's nice. That's nice. Yeah. Yeah. These are the same Bluetooth headphones I use with my tablet and my cell phone. Oh. Well, maybe, See, maybe I just got a 20-foot cord so I can get up and walk around and do the same thing. Yeah, you do that I was going to do the same why, thing with why, the microphone, why, why are, this one. This uh, one's a lot less expensive, and it sounds yeah. pretty good. So. Renee, turn your camera on and off, would you? Because you're – oh, she, she's calling back. I think she – yeah, I think she was gone. Did she have problems? There we go. Now, now she's, she's back again. Anyway. Um, yes, folks, it's always fun doing this program because half of it is was trying to solve technical difficulties. Oh, uh, it's so like you moving. Yeah, thank you Are for you the moving, sunset. Renee? Thank you for the sunset, Renee, and my 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 uh, condol my my respect to uh, the Lord. Uh, <laughs> well, see now you're you're in Hawaii. They don't have that God. They don't have a, mon a monolithic well, God. Well, please then uh, say hello to Pele for me, okay? Yeah. As long as she's Haley. not stop, I'm good. Yeah, <laughs> she's she's in charge of the volcano. Is she in charge of the volcano? <laughs> she's in charge of the volcano. Oh wow! So what do the many hunas do? Um, just I don't know. I haven't found. I haven't come across one yet. So I'm gonna have to go search for them. How about yeah, the Akamai like Kama Inas? Uh, that's the discount you get when you're a local. Right, and and <laughs> here's the here's the funny part. You can't get a Kamamaya discount if you can't spell the fucking word. Yeah, well, really? here, here's the yeah. thing that bothered me about Hawaii <laughs> is everything was okay until I finally saw a sign that said Mahalo for not smoking. I thought that was a little ridiculous. You know. Why? Thank you for not smoking is a bad thing? Mark is coming back again. There's Mark. Okay. What happened? Did you get hung up on or something, Mark? What happened? No, I've been the most interesting, uh, you know, I, I, the glitch 
The whole thing just goes white. Hmm. Yeah, that happened to me. It just went white. Yeah. Well, is welcome. Ray trying to get back in, or maybe he's welcome to the wonderful whole- world of you know. Every time we start talking about technical problems, the numbers go up. We go figure ah, that one. Scott, what are you doing? What? Get that thing off of you. <laughs> what? What thing off of? Oh, oh, oh. <laughs> <laughs> ah, well. Okay, somebody with with a Philly uh, a Philly fan needs to get their jersey off. Because he is sitting here all by his lonesome with nobody challenging him. I can go get my Vikings jersey. Yeah, I got a Colin Kaepernick jersey. Hey, do you think Brady will retire this year? No. Uh, Aren't uh, all the coaches uh, abandoning uh, ship, though? Is Bra- Brady going to retire? retire? Marsha, you mean? No. Marsha Brady? Brady. Oh, no. oh. Tom Brady. You see, I mean, I, I, I'm probably the only person. Okay. Am I the only person in this crowd who doesn't give a shit about the Super Bowl this weekend? No, you're not. Yeah. I'm Are you, at least worth the watch. No, no interest at all. Oh, you, you care, right, Boddicker? Boddicker, you care, don't you? No, not at all. Not at all. But they're, uh, 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 was it not head coach, but uh, whatever coach is coming to Detroit. Yeah. And then there, I thought there were some other coaches that are leaving too. So I was thinking that was uh, probably a good sign that maybe Tom Brady will retire. Is, uh, isn't Detroit where coaches go to die? Uh, I think it is. I really do. <laughs> Going to a Super Bowl party on Sunday, but, uh, you know, I could really uh, give a, a rat's ass about, you know, the, the game. Yeah. You have to be careful because you'll blow your diet. Yeah. Well, only, no. It's a big deal. We were invited to one on Sunday. I'm going to change my name to Diet. What, what were you going to say, Rob? <laughs> <laughs> my neighbor is, is big Super Bowl party. And <laughs> Burning like that one, too. You, hey, you're going to make her stain the carpet. I think, <laughs> I think Renee went screw up. Yeah, wait a minute. Hold on a second. Marshall Goldberg is calling up. So this would make it what? Is this a is this a uh, uh, ten now? Wait a minute. I just added you to the call, Michael. Where's uh, Ray? When Ray calls back, you'll have a, a royal flush. Wait a minute. Uh, somehow, some all it's, all it's doing is ringing. Oh my God, uh, and, Jason! What the hell? <laughs> So I have a white floor. So the last thing you want to do is spew coffee all over it. And Jason, it was this close. God damn it. Okay. It was, I was just running towards the kitchen. <laughs> I remember once when I when we had the uh, we had the uh, um, uh, Super Bowl at Stanford, and uh, uh, I think it was NBC Television. Uh, heard that uh, I was the only person in San Francisco who didn't give a shit about uh, about the football game, so they came what? to interview me and said we've, we're interviewing Alex Bennett, who's the only person in San Francisco who doesn't care about the Super Bowl this weekend. Uh, what are you going to be doing during the Super Bowl this weekend? And I said I'm going to be having sex with all the wives of the husbands who are watching it. <laughs> <laughs> they have wooden bleachers at that stadium. Well, they had wooden bleachers at that stadium. Yeah, it was very uncomfortable. Yeah. Yeah, um, we used to love because Bro- Marty was a Denver Broncos fan, and I wasn't doing a lot of football. Yeah. For a lot of years, there the 49ers were always in the playoffs. We would always go skiing on that day when the Super when the Super Bowl came, if the 49ers were there, because the slopes were vacant. <laughs> Wait a minute, Michael Goldberg just joined us. Are you there, Michael? Um, yes, I am. Okay, turn. Do you have a camera? Um. Well, it's on, uh, as far yeah, as I know. Toggle it. Toggle it, uh, it because it isn't on. Nice. We have the, your, we have your picture of you that uh, obviously was taking, taken during the days when you were in Saturday Night Fever. Uh, <laughs> was a member of the SDS. Yeah. Uh, yeah, a little bit of both. Um, well, I'm on a Chromebook. I think I've told you guys before, so I don't know how to do any more than I've then I'm doing so. If, if, if yeah, well, you if, should be able to turn on a camera, but you know, uh, the camera but, will be in Skype. Uh, uh, let's not go uh, through these instructions again. <laughs> oh, there we go. There you are. There you okay. go. There, there we go. Is. Now, now, now we have the the two uh, the 2018 Michael Goldberg. Hi, Michael. 
Hi, Alex. How are you? Yes. Yeah. That's the kind of photograph like columnists used to run long after they looked that way. You know, exactly. Uh, exactly. Like, like Pete Hamill. Yeah. Pete Hamill's still, uh, <laughs> exactly. like in the 30s when he was exactly. in the 70s. Uh, I have a photo with my leisure suit on. Oh, oh really? God. Could you get? Oh, could you? God. Could you? Could you get that out or send it to me so no. I can put it into here and we can run it some night? Don't do that. <laughs> Don't do it. It was powder blue. Oh. Okay. And, and it was uh, it was like a brush denim with all these little silver studs in it. Nice. I, I think I had the same one, and I also had a green one. Believe it. Uh, oh. Oh. <laughs> and no. I had. Uh, suede black suede platform shoes that were just let me tell you platform shoes that one side of it were was beige and the other side of it was brown they were uh they, there were two colors on the uh on, on the shoe and it split <laughs> down the middle <laughs> and, and, and they were two inch front heel front platforms two inch front yeah, yeah. Okay, but wait a minute. When we can't let the woman in the crowd get away free on this deal. Tell us something. <laughs> tell us something horrible you used to wear. Mm -mm. No, no, come on. Man, it, was, it was the seventies in D.C. and uh, no, mm -mm. no. Nope. Sorry, no, not going there. No, I mean, <laughs> was it short? Uh, no, nope, not going there. Uh, what was it? Was it? Was it a grain? Or did it go down to the ground? Those were hip in those days too. I'm sure it was corduroy, and it could have been shorter, long corduroy, and big shoes. You're not admitting to anything, hats. are you? Elephant you remember elephant jeans? Oh, Did yeah, you? elephant belt jeans. Yeah. Yeah, Did there are multiple sizes. All right, let me ask you this, and, and don't take offense at this, please, as a woman. Did you have anything you would consider slut gear? Oh, yeah. Of Every course. woman does. I was so friendly with all the waitresses when I worked at this club, and they used to say, "I'm we're going out tonight. I've got my red fuck me pumps." <laughs> <laughs> They're called CFMs. <laughs> yeah, Every, I think if look if you're stiletto or your heel is at least six inches tall, you kind of gotta fess up that they're CFMs. So you need to do that. <clears throat> yeah. Uh, yes. And if, Wear them outside. We should have. Is Vernon Nunn going to make some kind of a uh, confession here? Yeah, the first time I met my wife, I was wearing a polyester purple jumpsuit, and my hair was down to my shoulders, and she still married me anyway. <laughs> wow. Purple. There's but I'll color. bet you, I'll bet you something. You had that mustache. No, I didn't have the mustache until, uh, let's see, three years after we got married. Really. Really. And I've had it ever since. She won't let me shave it off. Here comes Ray Renati. Can you see I'm all? Back. Can you see hey. all of us now? Hey. I figured out what was wrong. This is ridiculous. I have two monitors, and I didn't have the other monitor on. And, uh, Who's flushing it was a on toilet? The other monitor that was off. <laughs> you gotta love it. <laughs> oh, you had the other monitor off. I see. Okay. Yeah, and I didn't know it was over there. All right. Well, now, it fine. Itself over there. Plus, what yeah. do we have here? Do we have a royal flush? That's why you play yes. the toilet. Yeah. Yeah. Oh. oh okay. yeah. Michael, how's everything out in your neck of the woods, which, where, which I can't remember where it is now because I'm bad. At this age, my brain's going. Where are you from? Where are you calling from? I'm from Brooklyn. From Brooklyn. Boy, it's a fat. Uh, uh, wait, wait a minute. I could spit Where's out tiny? my window at you. I thought mass, mass is our thing. Yeah, well, no, I, it's wonderful to have somebody from Brooklyn. You know, well, Tony, Tony, Brooklyn. Back. Yeah, Tony lives in Queens. Queens. Yeah. yeah, yeah, it's another world. Yeah, Tony hasn't called since I started insulting his new dog. You know, he, <laughs> he was on the YouTube uh, chat tonight, though. I did see his name. Oh, was he here? Let me see here. Oh, yeah, there. It's a full house, he says. And then Why he says, he says Scott has a Patriot shirt. Yes. Oh, Patriot. Yes, uh, 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 Patrick. Uh, I did see that Tony at least was interacting with Marjorie on Facebook. So she didn't piss him off. Uh, who, who, who was on Facebook with him? Marjorie. Oh, Marjorie. She was on. She, what? She was writing something on Facebook. Oh, on Facebook. Oh, on Facebook. Oh, okay. Your wife. Yeah. My, <laughs> yeah. Wait a minute. Marjorie's my wife. 
<laughs> Which one? Yep. You better not tell that girl Number that was three. with you from 10 to 10.30. <laughs> no, she, that's a woman I bring in every week who plays my wife. Yeah. She, he he lasted to 10.30? <laughs> yeah. Yeah. So anyway, um, uh, so where were we? Oh, yeah. So Trump's an asshole. Uh, that's where we left off. Uh, oh, you should. I, I know you guys weren't watching it, but Scaramucci was on um, Bill Maher tonight. Mm -hmm. it, was oh, a, it? it was a total train wreck. Oh, my God. I got to watch this. Wait, well, see a, a total train wreck in what way that he just was a lousy interview? No, no he, he just would. He just talked over everybody and and and. I think he and David Frum, if you know who he yeah, is, yeah. Yeah. I think they were almost going to come to blows. I mean, it, it got really ridiculous. Uh -huh. And Bill Hart can set in and, and say, me, 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 me. He, he was basically just, he kind of at the end threw up his hands. He, he, he well, you know like, something? I'll tell you. Occasionally those situations happen. I can say that as an interviewer. Uh, at, in which you are in a, uh, um, a situation where one person is, shall we say, not performing right, okay? And you now have to somehow keep it, keep the reins in on this thing. And sometimes people are afraid, and might have been the case with, uh, with Bill Maher, that he was afraid to just say, shut the fuck up, Scaramouche, give everybody else a chance to talk. Like I tell Phil all the time. Right, you know, <laughs> a lot of talk shows you have to fight for uh, uh, for space, uh, and you know you you see it, uh, you know because they gang up, but um, uh, you know talking about train wrecks. Well, no, but you uh, think wait a minute, you think you ha that's your perception as you're sitting there, that yeah. you, you know, but you're not. Because I think it's because he maybe wasn't a you know a guy who was that knowledgeable on how to do talk shows. But you get the feeling you're not getting something in. But the fact is that when you've got three other people there, nobody feels they're getting a lot in. You just get in your best shot, and then you let somebody else talk. You know. Uh, so I, I have to, you know, disagree with uh, the assumption. Well, Jimmy Kimmel was uh, in a in a uh, head-on uh, car wreck today. You talk about train wrecks. Wow, really? Wow, really? really? Uh, it looked okay. Uh, it happened in L.A. His BMW was pretty beat up, but uh, he was in the head-on. Really? Thank God wow. for airbags, man. Yeah. I, I don't care. Uh, I, I don't know. Well, no, what happened was Stormy Daniels was in the car, so he didn't get hurt. <laughs> <laughs> Airbag. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, but it, that's uh, that's really, wow. When did, when did you read that? It must have been moments oh, this ago. Morning. Oh, uh, Really? Yeah. Yeah. It says he wasn't injured on here. Oh, you see it? Okay. Yeah, he's not. He yeah, he's was not injured. Well, yeah. what a good yeah. ad! What a good ad for BMW. Yeah, <laughs> you know. Um, uh, yeah. Did you hear also that uh, uh, Stan Lee was taken to the hospital? Oh no! Uh, with a he had a he had a uh, irregular heartbeat. What? What is that? Uh, that. Oh, that's my that's my cell phone. Ignore it. <laughs> sure. Okay. I thought, somebody, I thought it was just somebody trying to make a comment about Stan Lee. Uh, <laughs> no. That's uh, not going to be good. But he's he's isn't he up there, Stan Lee? No, he's still a young guy. He's ninety five. Yeah. I mean, so in, in a room older, with in a room you, with Alex. with uh, in a room with Mel Brooks <laughs> and Kirk Douglas and uh, who else can we name? Oh yeah, Olivia De Havilland. Uh, he's a he's a youngster. Yeah, you know. Uh, he been having any medical issues? Uh, uh, he's had a few medical issues, but at, at that age, you always have a, one medical issue or another. You know, mm -hmm. not maybe nothing serious, it's nothing that death. kills you. Uh, well, death, you know. But he <laughs> supposedly he had an irregular heartbeat or something, so they took him to the hospital and they let him out after he was there overnight. But, yeah. you know, at his age, you get worried, you know, and and I'm sure he will die. And that will be yet another one person I knew who died. You know, it's just I'm adding it. I'll add him to the list. In fact, last weekend on our 24-7 um, feed for the weekend, I played the interview with Stan Lee that I had. One of the ones that I did with him where he read Spider-Man to the kids Uh and uh, he's always been a self promoter and, and a, a nice guy. I always liked, uh, I always liked Stan. Uh, you, you, Mark could probably tell you more about Stan even than I could because you were a fan, right? What do you mean? Are you, 
I am. I, I freelanced up at the Marvel bullpen. Okay, for a bit. so you knew Stan. Yeah. <laughs> and I didn't know him, but he did come to New York. He has his, he had his office. <clears throat> the thing about Stan was that at that time, he really was writing the Spider-Man newspaper strip. And he would pull anyone, hey, does this sound like something Peter Parker would say? You know, really wanting to know, does this, you know, he really care. You know, I was just kind of like, Wow. He's being Stan Lee, you know. Uh, that was yeah. like the coolest thing, of just course, him being there. Of course, there's cool. always that big argument about Stan Lee and Jack Kirby. And Jack Kirby was the guy who also wrote Spider-Man as well. And most of the things that Stan Lee created, he created with Jack Kirby. But Kirby wasn't the promotion guy. It wasn't his promo didn't promote himself very much. Not and, so and, much, much, much later in his life. And, and so it wasn't until recent years where people started doing tributes to Jack Kirby and people began to realize then the value of Kirby was Kirby actually was the, did the artwork. Uh, and Stan Lee did the dialogue. Yep. And, uh, and, and together they created the strips. And the, the, not, their output was amazing. Let's be honest about that. I mean... All the stuff we're seeing in the movie theaters now is most of it is stuff that Stan Lee created with Jack Kirby. Yeah. Uh, so when Je when if, when Stan goes and if he goes tomorrow, God bless him, he lived to be ninety five. Um, uh, he will take with him a great, I think, a pretty important legacy in American culture. Um, and uh, I, while I would like to say the same thing about DC, they were a different kind of game altogether, you know. So, anyway. Can I change the subject? Sure. Yes, please. Yes, uh, I would like to talk about Randall Margraves. Can you turn any lights on there? I know the sun has gone down and... It's a little tough. This yeah. is the guy who was in court because two of his daughters were molested oh, by yes. that jackass. Right, right. And, oh, yeah. he and he had the balls. So, And by the way, he has a union label on his t-shirt. So your freaking union badass asked the judge... I would really like five minutes alone with him. I really wish you would grant that for me. Could you please do that? And the judge to her, to her thing said, no, I cannot do that. He goes, I would really like one minute alone with him. If you could really please do that, I would really appreciate And the judge says, no, I can't do that. And he launches for, for the guy. And he talked about the Larry Nasser. Yep. And he yeah. launched yeah. for Larry Nasser. It took five, four or five police officers to hold this guy down and it's just gone wild on the internet because the because of what he did. But now the judge did something really nice. The judge said, "You know what? I get it. I'm not charging you with anything from the bench." I, but, I was actually going to bring that up too. That I was going to ask if anybody heard about that. That the guy. Right? Yeah. I, I was very surprised that that was actually the first time that somebody tried going after him. Well. Oh, and this little weasel was in the corner with somebody hovering over him to protect him. Look, that little bitch is going to go to prison and somebody's going to beat the <laughs> shit out of him. That's right. It's going to get uh, it, 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 it's it gonna, it's gonna, gonna be interesting to see. I, I'm, uh, we, we should tell you, do a death pool on him and figure out how long it's going to be that he has to live. I say about five minutes, to be honest with you. Patrick? Well, what that reminded me of is when the Jeffrey Dahmer trial was going on, and it was a big deal here in Milwaukee. One of the um, sisters of one of the victims went absolutely ape shit, and she lunged at Dahmer's table the same way. Mm -hmm. And the judge did the same thing. Didn't charge you with anything. Said, sure. oh, I get it. And the thing is, Dahmer lived, I think, it was about maybe 24 months before a um, African American gentleman who was in prison with him ate him. him and, <laughs> and well, the reason I bring up African American is because the gentleman that also died with Dahmer at the same time was a notorious guy here in Milwaukee who blamed the murder of his wife on two Negroes, and he was in, they were, Dahmer and this idiot were in the bathroom together cleaning the stalls or whatever, and this black guy came in and beat them both with broomstick, killed them both. Oh, oh. death by a broomstick, that has to be slow. And, uh. <laughs> 
So the gentleman, luckily, Randall Margraves was not charged. He right. says he's very sorry to the judge for what he did. He didn't know what happened to him, but he really just couldn't bear looking at this man anymore. And he also, apo and he I also apologized, I believe, to his daughters, saying he was sorry for his bad behavior. And they, of course, well, didn't, didn't say bad dad. You know, I mean... I, no, he what he he did say is he didn't want to take any he's not he didn't want to hold on a second he didn't want to uh, tarnish his daughter's testimonies and he feels bad that that has happened. Wow. Okay. Wow. So what a man. Yeah. And, and just to see that logo that union logo on his chest, I was like, damn good job, boy. Damn. Good I just job. don't think I could even be in the courtroom because I don't that that would just kill me. Well, how many how many parents have go, are going through this? It was what was it? One hundred and sixty some odd girls or something like that? Yeah, uh, I think there was like one hundred and seventy five already testified in front of them. The question is, how many coming. of these? How many of these were simple molestations? I mean, it was simple. <laughs> I mean, but molestations <laughs> as opposed to actual sexual rape. I don't know. Did, did, were there yeah. many people? I think they were all molestations. You know, he they was, were, they, they were, they were all these girls. He did, he, for, oh, your knee hurts. Let me finger you. Yeah. Okay. The, in other words, uh, uh, there was there wasn't really a case where somebody had been raped by him. I, no, you. He would he would get all drunk and he would go into the girls' rooms at night and have to perform examinations. Yeah, wow. and and these would be single girls in single rooms. And you then know you know what is just just, just uh, 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 I see you, Patrick. I read you in a doctor. second. Uh, but you know the thing that just amazes me is how this went on for so many years without anybody doing anything about it. I mean, it, it seems so egregious. I mean, if he did. He did many hundreds, okay? Well, that's that's why the, the people have resigned who have resigned. The yeah, but, I mean, they, they resigned him. after working for years and years and years, okay? So it, it's they like they were still getting these. paid off for their bad behavior. They should have come to terms with this long before uh, this point happened. Yes, Patrick, and then I think Rob said something, and Michael has his hand up. So first, Patrick. Yeah, I, I mean, I mean... We remember the Penn State problem. Did yeah. it make Penn State look like nothing happened? You know, and right. and that and everybody that had to resign or was fired there, that was a good thing. And the same thing here for uh, for this university. Get rid of these fucking people. I no, mean, it's just, yep. uh, it's, wasn't the university, Patrick? I think it was uh, the it was, it was MSU and. Uh, Gymnastics America it, or whatever. It was, well, it was the American what? Gymnastic Association American, or whatever, yeah. but it was also... Which was also the American Olympic. Al also, team. some people have been taken to task at Michigan for not having... Michigan State. State, State. Michigan State. State for not, not Michigan, not University of Michigan. Yeah. Yeah. No, Michigan State. Michigan State. State. Michigan State. I no, said the Spartans, thing, East Lansing. I said the same thing about Penn State, that it's a... You know, S uh, Sandusky was sick. This guy is sick. Okay, it's horrible, but the people who enabled him, yep. who, who yep. covered it up, if That's you be able to prosecute those people for mm -hmm. enabling and like, uh, what do you call that? When endangering a minor or whatever, mm -hmm. yeah. when you start to 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 make it dangerous, those people will turn them in. Because they'll be thinking, oh, shit, I can get in trouble for this. Yeah. That's the only way you're ever going to stop this. Because otherwise, it's only about money. That's what it was about well, at Penn what State. What I loved about the situation at Penn State was that Mar uh, Marjorie went to Penn State, and I never let her forget it. Um, uh, yes, Jason, and then Michael. So I think there's a difference between Penn State. Penn State, people were covering it up because it was a guy molesting boys or raping boys. Not molesting, raping boys. But now this guy, he was able to get away with it because I'm a doctor. I'm just doing a medical treatment. I'm a doctor. And people were not listening to the kids. Right. You know, yeah. and, and that's where the real disappointment is coming in. They should have listened to why if my knee hurts, why is this guy sticking his finger in my vagina? You know, that's yeah. where, but I'm a doctor and here, here's my treatment. There was a case where Renee was talking about the other day, I think it was Meridian Township, Michigan, where they yeah. apologized to the girl because she went to the police about it. And 
the 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 doctor gave a, a PowerPoint presentation to the police. This is why I did this. Yeah. Oh well, you're a doctor, so of course we're going to believe you. Yeah. Uh, let's go to Michael. He had his hand up a while back, and I'm sure he wanted to say something. Yeah, I, I would. I mean, you, you guys kind of stole what I was going to say about it's. It it, it is you know, the Penn State situation and people above him covering up for him and, you know, making excuses, not, you know, being uh, being held accountable themselves. And until, you know, that that happens in any large institution, we're going to, you know, run into the same problems. Okay. But, oh, well, I think what's, what's happened, you know, just like we talk about the women's movement has created a, a certain... Uh, 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 new co code of conduct and companies watching out for themselves. I think this situation uh, is going to make a lot of schools m more wary of, of people around them that seem to be doing improper stuff. Uh, the reason at Penn State they didn't want to do anything about Sandusky and the reason so they kept hiding it was because he was making the money. That football right. team was I a money maker. Awesome. You know, and by the way, let's get down to something. As long as we got the Super Bowl coming this weekend, let me give my yearly speech about the reason why football is so important to America. <laughs> because they gamble on it. That is true. That is the I, only I reason. Better. That's the only reason the Super Bowl yep. is important is because yep. people bet money on it. And it, that, that is, there's financial gain from these sports. Am I right or am I wrong? Absolutely right. right. Absolutely right. And, and the things you can bet on in this, in, in this game are just so ridiculous. I mean, you know, the length of the national anthem, <laughs> what color hair pink has, yeah. uh, <laughs> I'm going to come in in a dress or a pantsuit. I, I mean, I'm a football better, so I'm really, you know, into all this stuff. Yeah. And it just cracks me up. All the ridiculous things that you can bet on for the, you know, around in and around this game. Yeah. By the Is way, by, by the way, Tom, Tom Yamaguchi, Tom Yamaguchi, so. Tom Yamaguchi writes they were actually protecting Joe Paterno. Yeah, you're right about that. I mean, he was the one that was making the money, but Paterno was protecting uh, uh, what's his name because Sandusky. Sandusky because he would have brought the whole ball of wax coming down around their ears. I mean, Paterno didn't do anything wrong physically but he did do something wrong by not just getting rid of sandusky and reporting the whole thing and making sure it was taken care of uh but you know they probably figured they could get away with it you know it's yeah. the same thing with matt lauer mm -hmm. right mm -hmm. he very because matt lauer supposedly now we hear that uh hoda there is doing you know gangbusters on the ratings but they, you know, it was all about the money that supposedly Matt Lauer was bringing into the network on the Today well, Show. Well, there is a misassumption on the part of that network that Matt Lauer was making the money. Right. They didn't realize if they got rid of Matt Lauer, the ratings might even go up. They didn't want to take the chance. Right. And and part of the job, the reason you say, how do these people keep working? They keep working <laughs> because somehow they've conned everybody into thinking that if they weren't there, they'd lose money. <laughs> you know? Sorry. And, and market. And, and, you know, you could get I honestly believe that in a show like the Today Show or any of those shows, you could get rid of anybody on that show. And no one person is the linchpin of the program. You know, it is the show that's the star. It's the show that creates the habit that people have to watch it and not, you know, would you agree with that, Mark? You know, what yeah, I'm saying? I mean, it, uh, that whole thing kind of just blew my mind when it happened. And in fact. It, it, it was just just the anger. Yeah. I mean, but I mean, and Lauer was getting away with the stuff. And it sounds like his stuff was pretty egregious, too. Uh, Phil? I think I read Charlie Rose on CBS. Nobody, nobody misses him. You know? Uh, it didn't, change, it didn't change the ratings on that show one bit. They're still number three. Yeah. <laughs> you know? But you know, uh, they, they thought Charlie Rose was, you know, the end all and be all. And it was a couple of crocodile tears from some of the existing uh, staff, but uh, he's okay. gone. And, hey, you, know you, know you, you, you know how you can tell somebody's an asshole when these things happen and nobody comes to their defense. Nobody Same. came to Charlie Rose's defense. I hear he's a real asshole. Nobody came to Lauer's defense. I hear he was a real asshole. Uh, nobody came to uh, a lot of people did come to uh, Louis C.K.'s. Uh, 
side on yeah, this whole yeah, thing. Yeah, but how come people are coming to Trump's defense? He's an asshole. Well, uh, well Trump, I, we've got to say this, and if you look at the serial predatory nature of these people, Trump is right in there with the rest of them. And yep. he is not yeah, being taken. He's not being made to account for any of this because he's a cult leader. He's a cult leader. Power, just power. Yeah. Everybody, uh, nobody wants to lose that. Yeah. They're, you know, it's all about power, and, and it was timing also when uh, this this came about. There wasn't the Me Too movement. There wasn't this uh, call to action to uh, crucify people. At that time, it was still a little too new. It was it before um, uh, what's his name uh, 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 Cosby? Uh, was it before his thing or after? Was it before it? No. Gee, no. We don't, nobody talks about Cosby anymore. You know, when we when we give yeah. a list of the names, you know, we got Weinstein, blah 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 blah. Nobody says Cosby. And he just had a he did his first performance just recently. Yeah, since this whole thing. What was it? What was the name of the tour? It's uh, I'm not. So, you don't think I'm so bad now? Tour. <laughs> <laughs> it's the thank you tour for taking the heat off of him. He's kind of the George Bush of comedians now, isn't he? I mean, he, you know, Bush doesn't look so bad now. Uh, yeah, I mean, we don't talk about Cosby, and Cosby was like uh, the big story, but he was the only story. Really, you know, though, is becoming a story is uh, Woody Allen again. Yeah, people are, people are dropping out of Woody Allen movies. Yes. He's having trouble casting his latest movie. But the unfairness of that is, is that there was a uh, police investigation into it, and they decided that there was no cause to believe that Woody Allen had molested this uh, her his stepchild. You know, but, was, but is that come on, he freaking is married to a stepdaughter. No, no, he married he married a no. stepdaughter, but to his credit, been a very successful marriage. It's tw he's been married to Sun Yi for about 20 years now. I don't care, it was still screwed up. It was creepy, but they're still married, you know. Uh, he's probably sure. have a kid now so he could have a, a new wife. Huh? What'd you say? <laughs> he has a kid. He's yeah. probably trying to have a kid now so he can get a new wife. Yeah, but I, I don't, I, you know, the, the, those, uh, Dylan uh, Farrow, uh, the, the mother has poisoned those kids against him. That's for damn sure. Uh, Boy, does that one guy not look like his? It looks like Frank Sinatra's kid. Oh yeah. my God, he's gorgeous. He no, but he, it's he like, holy but shit. But he, he, everybody, it was rumored that that's Frank Sinatra's kid. And the when you say, gorgeous. okay, what would you believe first? This is Frank Sinatra's kid, and you look at him and you go, yeah, absolutely. Or Woody Allen's kid? No way. No, <laughs> no, no, no way. Ronan Farrow. Huh? Farrow. Farrow. Yeah. 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 He looks. He's totally Frank. Go. You look at him. There's Frank Sinatra all over his face. Oh, I mean, he's and, definitely... he, and he exudes it, too. I know, like, yeah. Shit. He's yeah. got Frank Sinatra's jaw and everything. I mean, it's just the all hair, Frank the Sinatra. Eyes. Yeah. I don't know. He's got Woody Allen's hair. No, he's got hair. <laughs> I don't know. He doesn't have Woody. Sinatra did. Sinatra did, yeah. 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 But, no, this, this kid looks just... And, and he's a kid, so I'm not doing anything. Well, he, that, you know, he's the, he one, he's, he's like the one that wrote the big article on Weinstein. That blew this whole thing up. Uh, yeah. so you know, he and the New York you Times. You guys have to remember when this Weinstein thing first came up, the New York Times wouldn't touch it. Nobody would touch it. It took them years to get Weinstein onto the New York Times page. Yeah. This wasn't something that just happened. It took at least 10 years well, to do this. They didn't want to take a chance on it because what they, quite frankly, didn't want to do was get the shit suit out of them if they didn't have their their ducks in a row, hey, and and once and, and and once they published it, and Ronan Farrow did this piece for MSNBC, who said we can't broadcast it, but you can chop it around if you want to. So he took it over to I can't remember where it was published. Uh, uh, where? Where was it? Anybody know? Fair did he say? Fair wasn't it? Uh, Vanity, Vanity Fair, Fair. Vanity. Uh, and so he took the Vanity Fair and so he became the person that broke the whole Weinstein Alex. thing yes quickly Ronan Phil Farrow. Huh? Ronan Farrow has blue eyes uh, uh, Willie uh, not Willie uh, um, uh, what's Woody. his name uh, Woody Allen has dark eyes 
Uh, you have to, I believe, genetically have two parents with blue eyes to have a blue-eyed kid. No, yeah. no, no. Anyway, anyway. No? We were on, we've run, I hear the theme, hear the theme, hear kid. the theme, okay. that familiar theme song. Hey, this has been a yeah. good show yeah. tonight. Just just one one and at one point, we had the highest number we've ever had watching one of our videos. It was for a short That's time, and then we, it was, it was a short Frank time, it was a short time, and then we lost them all, but what the fuck. Scott Boddicker, <laughs> thank you so much. Ray Renati, always love having you here, and glad you figured out what the problem was. Vernon Nunn, yeah. uh, send us a Morse code next time you come on. Uh... <laughs> Oh, okay, there we go. <laughs> Patrick Blazik, thank you so much. Uh, you can roll in anytime. We will love to see you. And uh, Jason, I'm glad your wife let you out tonight. Uh, of course, thanks for the sunset, Renee. Rob, thanks for the voice on GabNet. R Mark, it's always a pleasure when you're on. It's Phil nice. Meyer, uh, even though uh, uh, we love to hate you, uh, I thank you for your participation. And of course, my Marshall Goldberg. <laughs> I it, get a trophy for that? No, not I, at all. You and and, and you don't, you sure. get GabNet bucks. <laughs> everybody, wave goodbye to everybody so they can say, uh, hey, I saw them wave goodbye. We'll see you all uh, next week. All right, there they go. There's the citizens panel, folks. Let me just uh, hang up on them here as I have to do so the show after me can. Uh, uh, can uh, 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 do a, a show uh, and uh, use the same phone lines we do, which is, of course, GabNet, li GabNet Live. Yeah, that's the uh, thing you do with uh, Skype. Hey, listen, that's it for tonight. I'm sorry I'm running over uh, to the intersection. Sorry I'm running over, but I just want to say to all of you, I thank you for having joined us. The intersection is next with Jack and Amy. That's followed at 1 o'clock in the morning, Eastern Time, by Connections. And next Tuesday at uh, 9.30, it'll be uh, The Exchange with Damian Chaplin. I'm Alex Bennett. i got to get out of here. They're going to get mad. Uh, if you see her, tell her I love her. Okay? Bye. <laughs>